Flinto allows you to create really simple screen transitions, but it also allows you to have control of every element, every layer of your screen. So when you create a transition between this screen and this other, you can animate the background, the text, and every element, how they enter the screen and how the uh, previous screen exits the screen. So let's try it out. Right here on my hamburger menu, I'm going to create a link to the menu screen. Just going to select as a gesture tab, and I'm going to create a new transition instead of selecting something from the default menu. And here in the new transition, I am in the transition designer. As you can see here, I can preview how the transition is looking. By default, it will always come from the right and will enter the screen. Here, these guides are telling me what is going to be seen on the screen. So let's try it out on the preview. Here, I can see it's coming from the right. That is the default new transition that Flinto creates for you. But what I want to do is not move the screen, but I want to move the elements. So I can do this by moving the whole artboard in the middle of the guides. And then what I move is not the artboard, but the elements. So for example, I'm going to move these outside the screen. And then this background layer, I'm going to change the opacity to zero. And that way, that's how it starts. And now I preview it. And then I see the elements coming from the left, coming from the left and the background fading in. And I, that's really basic, but I can do even crazier stuff. So for example, if I want to, uh, I want this to be rotating, I can add rotation. For example, let's do 45 degrees, sorry, minus 45 degrees. And let's put them around here and let's get something crazy like this. And now my elements come into the screen from 45 degrees to zero degrees. Let's preview it on the here. And we see that it's not just coming from the left, but there's a small rotation when they fade in, when they come in. And so as you can see, you have the control not only of how elements enter the screen, but also how the previous screen, all the elements on the previous screen exit the screen. So let's go ahead and the scroll. I'm going to hide the first screen and I'm going to select all these elements and I'm going to move them out, uh, all the way out around here. And now I can see, let me put this again. And now I can see that it's creating a transition where the menu is coming from the left, rotated, and also it's pushing all the elements outside the screen. Let's preview it. Also, when you um, edit the elements, you can also change the timing of them. So for example, by default, it gives you a spring, but you can use ease, out, ease in is ease out when you select classic. And also you can do a bouncy uh, effect. So for example, here on these two, I'm going to select these two by pressing shift. And then I'm going to use a spring UI kit. I'm going to remove dampness just to make it a little bit bouncy. And let's preview it. And now it bounces a little bit. Let's preview it here. Let's do it again. So as you can see, you have the control, not just of how the, the, the different, the position and the rotation of the elements, how they enter the screen, but also of the timing of them, the uh, velocity, the duration, and even if you want to add a little bit of delay. So for example, if I wanted to, this element, the title sketch together, to have a little bit of delay, I could add a delay here. So I could add a delay of 300 milliseconds and then I preview it, and then it enters after the other animations are done. It's probably not exactly what I want to do. Let's keep it at 100 milliseconds. Let's preview it. It's perfect. So obviously, this gives you the freedom to do a lot of cool stuff. Uh, don't, don't get too crazy, though. Uh, but, but yeah, that's the cool thing about Flinto that it allows you to do not only screen transitions, but also layer transitions.